you can come back with a greater see him switching stances right away and from that southpaw stance getting the body early title very soon because they approach every fight like that you always have to and i'm sure he's going to continue to go down there and it's downstairs Bye -bye. as he comes with the backhand that left hand goes there again right on the belt line oh. stalking his prey comes in with a roll oh, a good sweeping left hand and to Cooch, trying to wrap up against the ropes, Conlon on the attack. And that's it. Another headshot reigns in, and it's a TKO win for Michael Conlon. It's just, uh, I love to hit them right on the sweet spot when there's a fail lane. Um, but it was going from a record of two, two points this time, so I got it, Bobby. And Adam, were you panicking at any time with the blows going in? No, but I had to make sure that we readjusted it a little bit. He, it, like, one of them was low because he threw it low. The second one, the other point I did is because Takush actually pulled his head down. And the other 48? <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> but on the left side, it was right. But, it, but you kind of have to adjust little yeah. things and head hunt a bit more just because there's a long time in the fight to go. No, no. It's, it's, it's hard. It's hard to kind of adjust um, mid fight because it was like. Some of them I didn't think were low, they just kind of swayed low. Um, a lot of them must have swayed low, but uh, you know what it is, it is. I, I, I'm experienced enough in the fight game where I know I can just go ahead. And I know you and I have talked before, but this Angelo Leo, the, the, the WBO Super Bantam weight, yeah. will he have to fight for it? Have you spoken to anybody, Byron? Do you know anything? I mean, will you get your shot late this year on, you know, Paddy's Day next year? I'll be honest, I don't have a clue. Um, I just have the best team. And I leave everything in their hands. I don't have a clue. If they have to fit each other, so be it. If it's in Paddy's day, so be it. I don't care, but I know next time, and I fight for the world title at 122, which I will, I'll be world champion. Whether it's Fulton or whether it's Leo, it'll be a completely different fight. There was someone in there who's... The, the fight in a point like that is almost harder because he's so kind of jittery and novice and unorthodox. Um, being a southpaw, he does some crazy shit. So, um, sorry for the language, no one BT, but he's have heard words from me, so... I'll let it be. We'll accept your apology for that. Now, not only does he do some, as you say, some some awkward stuff, yeah. he's a good awkward southpaw, yeah. isn't it? And let me, let me ask you this. We're talking about this world title fight. We're talking about it four pounds lower than he was tonight. Is that something in an ideal world, an ideal world, would you like to see that in six months or would you like to see that in 18 months? What would you like? The world title fight? Yeah. Now. 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 So before Christmas, if it could be made, you'd take it. He's ready now. When, when, when that opponent fell through the other week for the WBO belt and it popped up on my Twitter the first thing I did was look at the date and realize that we run out of time to throw his name in the hat but it would I would take it tomorrow so last December Madison Square Garden nicotine got him out of the way that was a pain this kid tonight was a pain got him out of the way brilliantly yeah. uh, I did what I said it was going to do as well I told him it says it wasn't going to rush it like Josh Warren did you know, I'm a different stage different state of fighter says I would break him down and take him out. And I did that. It may have been the last round, but I still did it. Yeah, you, listen, you did do it. Adam, thank you very much. Michael, it's always a pleasure doing business with you.